Look right. Get right behind the saw. Yeah, give yourself lots of distance so you can swing your arms. Hi, my name is Donna Birch and I'm the Volunteering Development Manager. We have a new large project called Pushing Down the Barriers, working across um, urban South Hampshire. Um, this is Access to Nature funding, which has allowed us to employ three new staff to work on this project. So we have Jamie and Phil, who are the youth volunteering officers, who do the practical side of the work. And we also have Russell, who has come to us, who is going to be making short documentaries and is based at the university. Oh. The time we finished this, she went and the film left. <laughs> oh, it's probably just drop like a ton when it comes off. You're going, you're going in there. It's really, it's really good because you like get to like teach you like skills and like life, learn about um, other like types of um, wood and um, like how to like respect um, types of like creatures. My role at the trust is youth engagement, so it's trying to engage young people from the southwest of Hampshire, um, mainly focusing on Southampton and the New Forest and trying to engage them into the work that the Trust does in terms of its practical conservation work. Witness! What national park are we in at the moment? <coughs> the what? The New Forest. What is the name of the plant that we have been cutting down? <laughs> it's 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 got the old one. one. <laughs> it begins with R. It's Rodo. 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 Habitat we're trying to protect. You said it before, Nathaniel. Yeah, I don't remember. Heath. 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 What? Heath. 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 No, we call it woodland. We call it chalk grassland. We call it heath. <coughs> Heathland. Nice work. Yeah. It's so much Today, what we're going to do is I'm going to try and show you an easy, fail-safe method of lighting a fire. Jamie, you're so nearly there. And all we're looking for is for one spark yeah. to land on one of those tiny little fibres and then it should light. Okay? Ready, ready, ready. I didn't say that. I was thinking it would go for one. Here it goes! Yes. Davey! You didn't give up, man. Well done. I would be like Very impressed. Very impressed. You've done it. You've done it. <laughs> That's because it's the fuel in the little blocks, isn't it? It's got that yeah, 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 it's got petrol in it. it. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to let that get established for a minute so the firelighters are properly going. That was hard, wasn't it? I was, you was did really seriously well, impressed, yeah? I, I thought you were going to go, I've yeah. had enough. Yeah. I, I, I did, well, well done. Yeah, so Hi, I'm Phil Somerscale and I'm South East Youth Volunteer Officer. My main duties are to get groups out to do practical conservation tasks within um, wildlife trust reserves and also HCC council sites. Now, um, we regularly have school groups to the um, nature reserve and we do pond dipping here. And we've been wanting to extend the size of the platform. When I found out about the Young Enterprise Group, it just seemed great that um, they would be able to come along and help me because it's certainly one of these jobs where many hands make light work. I think the best thing about working for Trust is that I'm going to be engaging with young people and getting them to go out into the environment and enjoy it as much as I do.
You've just seen a deer run through here. Yeah, we've got a big problem with deer on the reserve. And in fact, there's too many of them. And if you've got lots of deer, they require a lot of food. And once we've cut the hazel, you're going to get young shoots from the side of those um, stumps that you've cut are going to, shoot, are going to grow up. Little by little. Okay. Yeah. And then a little bit under there. Yes. Result. Right. So, when we cut this tree on the other side, it's going to naturally want to fall into that gap. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. But what we want to do is we want to leave a little bit of wood that hasn't been cut, but it's going to act like a hinge. All right. Yeah. Okay. So when it falls over, it's falling in a controlled manner. Yeah. So what I want you to do is put pressure on this, not so much that you're pulling it over, but just enough that you're guiding the tree this way. All right, so Charlie and I are gonna be underneath the tree sawing. We're gonna leave about an inch gap so we get a hinge. And we've got Paul and David on the end of the rope we are going to pull it, but not pull it too hard that it pulls it, that it actually rips it, yeah? Yeah. And when I say drop, you drop the rope and you run, okay? You've both, we've all got both, we've all got clear exits. Are you ready, Charlie? Yeah. Right, just a little bit at a time, yeah? All right, give it a bit of a pull. Are you, are you, which way are you going? Push it, yeah? Give it a bit of pull. A little bit more. Up there. Okay. You're gonna push it. No. We're gonna come this way. And if we've done that correctly, you guys should just be able to pull that over. And then run! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shall I push it? Hey, wait, 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 wait there, wait there, wait there. Okay, all of us, over here. <laughs> Charlie, you got the air? You got some of it? Paul, you got some of it? Okay, just gently, gently. I, I love my job, I love the engagement work, it makes such a difference and I've, you know, five years I've seen so many young people come through and just that spark, it's a, it's a new opportunity for them, they haven't come across it before and you know the percentage of people that, that just, it just clicks with them and, and they've gone on to a great thing, it's great. So what's the best thing about working outside? Um, calm, peaceful. It teaches you like skills in like life. It's fun to do and you get along with other people. Freedom. If it's what I 
I like doing this because I'm I'm an outdoorsy person. It's like they they should have like an award thing at school. So if you be good, then you get the award to go out. It's kind of changed who I am, really.